Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rodriguez and this is the Internet Marketing Action Plan for Jack Threads. Who buys from Jack Threads? The people who buy from Jack Threads are men ages 18 through 31 that are avid street style endorsers. The brands that they wear and follow include Adidas, Nike, Vans, and Herschel. These type of buyers are always on the go, as 51% of Jack Threads' sales come from a handheld device. These consumers can be found in cities and surrounding urban areas, and their average household income is $20,000. Also, their intentions are to find the most affordable apparel that speak like it's worth a million bucks. The customer personas for Jack Threads are both competitive and spontaneous. They are competitive due to the fact that they are all about the me factor and love to feel the center of attention. They always want to look fresh and above their peers and spontaneous because they are always on the go and are in the need of quick results. They don't want to be bothered with testimonials, charts, or facts that they think are boring or too much. They just want to look good without, without surfing through too much information. The broad campaign strategy. The main type of ad format for this campaign will be a 728 by 920 banner ad located at the top of GQ.com. As you can see, the demographics for GQ are 72% male, 28% female. These ads will feature on-click ads and in-banner videos where viewers can interact with Jack Threats' 10 to 30 second commercials as a preview prior to the site entry. The goal for advertising in this e-zine is to get broad exposure on our heavily visited website with a very broad consumer base. Comparing the best versus the worst case scenarios for the broad market campaign, at a 1% conversion rate in the average, average transaction value of 100 with 938 total visitors, our revenue will consist of $937 with 50 cents, with the revenue per visitor being $1. And the worst case, with a 0% conversion rate having the same total visitors, we have no revenue, no conversions compared to the best case, with, which was 9. Our revenue per visitor is zero and our margin per visitor is at, the, at a negative 0 0.21 cents. The targeted campaign. The ad format for this campaign will be a 300 by 250 box. It will feature an expandable 30 second interchangeable animation of Jack Threads' models were in the current collection. While GQ is also going to be used for the targeted ads, this type of ad will not be featured on the homepage for every visitor to see, but within a specific segment of the website. Going along with the lines with Jack Threads' demographic guidelines, targeted ads will be featured within the style segment in the articles with the titles, the three things that every college grad has in his closet, and what to wear on dates one through five, etc. Comparing the best versus the worst case scenario for the targeted campaign, we have a one conversion rate and average transaction value of $100 with our visitors being 1,313, the total convergence being 20, we are generating revenue of $1,968 with 75 cents. Our ad spend revenue ratio would be about 27.94%. And in the worst case, with no conversion rates, we will have the same amount of visitors, but no revenue, no conversions, zero revenue per visitor and a margin per visitor would be about negative 0.42 cents. The intention based campaign. The keywords that surround the conversion strategy are mostly tied with the words discount, coupons, and sneakers. Due to the fact that Jack Tuts's customers are mostly men looking for high affordable fashion, since the majority of men in the market are not high spenders on regular price apparel. Reiterating the fact that men are always on the look for the trendiest brands at the cheapest cost. Jack Threads will use these keywords for their ad placements in order to convert and satisfy the need for the online discount fashion purchasing. And in this case, comparing the best, which is the worst case scenario, at a 2% conversion rate with the ATV beyond 100, total visitors being 4,125 and having 82.5 conversions will generate a revenue of $8,250, with the ad spend revenue ratio being 6.06%. And at a zero, in the worst case, at a 0% conversion rate, with the same amount of visitors, we'll have zero conversions, zero revenue, 
and our margin per visitor is negative 0.2 cents. The email newsletter campaign. This advertisement will feature the Jacktrace logo type along with the flash GIF that will look three times, showcasing Jacktrace's winter styles for the upcoming season. And the call to actions will include variations between layer up with our 50% off codes, winter specials up to 80% off, here you, you hear the numbers, the big numbers that the customer like. And the main goals of this campaign is to measure the CTR of email marketing tactics through another party and to measure how many unique visitors actually sign up to GQ's newsletter. Here, I have the best, which is the worst case scenario, at a 5% conversion rate with 38,063 total visitors and 1,903 total conversions we will be generating a revenue of $190,312 with 50 cents, having our ad spend revenue ratio of 0.08%. The landing page optimization strategy. Jack Threads has faced a lot of backlash for the landing page on the right, where customers were forced to give their personal information prior to site entry. My suggestion is to present an X out button with no sign up obligation like the image on the left so consumers can feel secure and confident before making a commitment to the brand itself. Here, we will measure the click-through rates. How many people actually sign up without clicking on the X and how many have to actually click the X and view the products before having the interest to sign up. My projection is that by leaving the X out button, like the one on the left, Jack Threads will see a 20% increase on subscription each quarter by giving customers the freedom to choose. And that is it. Thank you.